Today I've become Ipswich Town's new manager and with that management role, I have put $1 billion back into the transfer market. If you like the sound of this so far, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. I am trying to push to get to 1,000 subscribers as soon as possible. Other than that, this is gonna be a career mode series up until the newly released FC25 game comes out in the next two weeks or so. But if you like the sound of this career mode, don't forget to subscribe. So we are finally here in the main menu of the career mode if we go to office over here to our finances if we have a look at our budget we have one billion dollars to spend on some players shortly i'll probably start a whole new starting 11 squad because i feel like that will be the best chance we have of winning the premier league in the first season back for ipswich just before we sign some new players, I'm going to head over to the squad management or team management. I'm going to keep this formation-ish. All I'm going to do is I'm going to move the left and right wings up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust the position up to about there to put it into a left wing position. And the same for Hutchinson. I'm going to adjust his position up as well to be about there to a right winger and that will be pretty much our formation our formation is a 4-2-3-1 wide we'll see how that goes for the first couple of games tactics which one should we choose wing play actually wing play might be the one that we choose don't mind a bit of wing play shooting it out to the sides and hopefully getting a quite a few crosses in to our strikers so with that i'll save the changes and now we'll head into the transfer hub All right here we go we are signing our first player of the career mode it is aaron ramsdale he's got to be our goalkeeper hopefully hopefully this goes smoothly hopefully he doesn't ask for anything ridiculous we did pay 46 million dollars for him but anyway aaron ramsdale was asking us uh a squad role he will be uh, critical because he will be our first main keeper. Looks like Ramsdale's agent is asking for 75000 for his wage and 650000 for his bonus. Uh, yeah, we'll keep that. We've got a lot of money in our bank, as you can probably see by our budget. But there we have it. Looks like we are signing Aaron Ramsdale to Ipswich Town as our first main goalkeeper. So here we go. We've got another signing. We are trying to sign Ollie Watkins as our striker here. Let's just see what he wants from us when it comes to his wages. Uh, his squad role, we're going to put him as crucial. He's got to be our main striker, so we'll do anything for him pretty much. His current wage is 130000 so I might give him 140. i I'll give him 10000 more a week. Signing bonus, I'll give him 800000 See if he'll accept that. Is he? Yes! He thinks that's reasonable. That's good. Let's go. We've got our main strike of Ollie Watkins. Right, we are signing another player. It is Doku. He will be our left winger slash left midfielder, whatever. But anyway, let's get down to his contract. He wants 65,000. His current wage is 105. He wants to give less. All right, I'll take that. As signing bonus though, he wants 630,000. Yep, I'll give that to him. Goals, he wants to at least get 15 goals this season. Hopefully he will get that. And with those 15 goals, he wants uh, 1.6 million if he hits that. Yep, we'll, we'll allow that. That is fine, as it looks like we have signed him as our left winger. All right, we have a new signing, in, and it is Salah. We have signed Salah for, I can't remember how much it was. I think it was, was it 200 million, maybe close to that, 100 and something million. Not too sure, we'll say here anyway. We did sign him for 120 million. I can't believe I forgot that, but anyway. <laughs> It is what it is, but anyway, we have signed Mohamed Salah. Anyway, we have got a new player coming in now. We are going to sort out Gibbs White's contract. He will be our cam, hopefully. Hopefully, I just didn't jinx myself. Hopefully, this contract goes nice and smoothly. As first of all, we did put down Critical as his squad role. He will be our first 11 player. As for his wages, ooh, okay. I might put his wages 70. It's probably a bit generous giving him that much. For the signing bonus, I'll give him something. I'll give him 400,000. Hopefully he'll take that. Please, come on Gibbs White, take this, come on. Yes, his agent says that is reasonable. I'll take that one as he is now signing for Ipswich Town. Right, we've got another player coming in and it is Thomas Party. We have signed him from Arsenal. Yes, we have taken a second player from Arsenal, but hey, we need to have the best squad as possible to hopefully win the Premier League this season. We have signed him for 44 million. Not too bad, to be honest. 
we did pay probably a little bit too much for him, but hey, I don't really care. We've got $1 billion in the bank, so we need to spend it somehow. But anyway, here he is at his photo shoot. He's looking very, very nice in the blue kit there, as he'll be a very good asset to our CDM roles, as we are going to have two CDMs. So let's find out the second CDM in a minute. For our second CDM or center mid, I'm not too sure where I'm gonna put him. We have Mason Mount, as he is from Manchester United. As for wages, his current wage is 105,000. Not, I'll give him 110. I'll give him 5,000 more, as that should be all right. Signing bonus, I'll give him 600,000. Hopefully, he'll take that. Please do, as we do need Mason Mount in our squad. Yes, he's happy with that. Let's go, as he will be our second CDM, maybe CM. Depends. Right, here we go. Moving on to our defensive line. And the first player we sign is Kieran Trippier from Newcastle. He will be our right back uh, player. He will be critical as he is, what, 32 years old. So he give a lot of uh, knowledge and experience, hopefully into the Ipswich team, as we do have quite a few young players of like Gibbs White and all that. But anyway, here we go. He's holding up his T-shirt. As yet again, another player that looks very, very good in the blue kit. So we are here signing our first centre-back of Mendes. Hopefully he will accept our contract that we'll give him. As Let's see what his agent says first. As his manager says that is fine. No release clause. But hang on a second. I put in no release clause, but they do want a release clause. They want a release clause of 123,400,000. Whoa, that is a lot of money. Um... Should I counter it? You know what? Let's just accept it. Who cares, to be honest? I'm not too sure what his current wage is. Um, I'll give him 100000 That's probably a lot of money, to be honest, but eh, I don't really care. And I'll give him a 900000 signing bonus. Will he take it? Yes, it's reasonable. I probably paid him way too much there, but hey, he's our young gun talent. Right, to join Mendes in the back line in our centre back position, we have got John Stones from Man City. Yes, we have got a Man City player into our squad as he will be a key uh, centre back for us. He'll bring some experience alongside Trippier as well as I think John Stones is like, what, 29, almost 30 years old. So he's got a lot of experience in the Premier League. Alrighty, we've got one more signing and it's for our left back position and we do have Fakayo Tomori. Hopefully we can snatch him up here as we'll give him a crucial role for his wages. Currently he has 91,000 for his wage. So what I'm gonna do is I'll give him 95 and then a bonus I'll give him a little bit more. Bonus I'll give him half a million. Let's see if he'll accept that, please do. Yes, his agent says that is reasonable. Here we go, we've got the 11 players that I wanted as this is gonna be an unreal season ahead of us. So I've just moved all the new players into our starting 11. As we have a look here, we've got Watkins as our striker. He's gonna be 84 overall so far. Then left wing, we've got Doku. He's gonna be 80 overall. Then in our cam position, we've got Gibbs White. He's gonna be 79. He's already gone plus one already. So that's good signs when it comes to him. Right wing and also our captain for Ipswich Town is gonna be Salah. Then if we move down to our CDM position slash CM position as well, we've got Mount there and we've got Party there as well. Move to our back lines. In our left back position, we've got Mendes. He's got to be 83 overall. Then next to him, in our centre backs, we've got Tamori. He's got to be 85. Then Stones. He's got to be 86. And then Trippy in our right back position. He's got to be 86 overall. It does say he's captain so far, but he won't be. Uh, and then our goalkeeper, we've got Ramsdale, as hopefully he can save quite a few goals for us this season. Before simming the weeks ahead, we have signed some uh, coaches as well. If we have a look here, We've got nine stars achieved so far out of 16 for our attack. We've got 11 stars achieved already out of 23 for our midfield. Defense, we've only got nine out of 23. Goalkeeping, we've almost maxed out, but we do have eight stars out of nine. As we can't sign any more because if I try to sign any more, it comes up in red for weekly salary. That means we don't have enough money, although we've got so much money in the bank. 
as I've just remembered, we have so many reserves, it's unbelievable, as we have signed 11 new players. So that means I might have to get rid of 11 players from the Ipswich squad. A few minutes later. How many do we have in our reserves now? We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. That's better. We've only got 11 reserves. So that will do. Right, we've got an option to do a preseason tournament. I'm not doing that. We are going to skip that. Here we go. It's finally match day. First day of the Premier League season. Let's get this thing underway. Oh, no. They're on a run here. Side. Get them out. Good. What a slide tackle. It was a little bit risky as it was just on the edge of the box. Pass out to the wing. To Doku. To Watkins. Come on, pass it. To Gibbs White. Ah! Probably should have shot a bit quicker, but anyway, doesn't matter. Good, good pressure. Second, second effort. Second effort. Where's my defense? Oh my, oh my God. That was pathetic. Absolute pathetic. I couldn't click the button in time to move our defenders around. It costed us so badly as it ricocheted off of Ramsdale. Wasn't much he could do there, to be honest. He did save it once. Oi, ref. Yes, that's our free. We'll pass it off as it's way too far out from goals. Pass it out. Good ball. Cross it in. Chip it. Chip it. Bang it in, Watkins. Get it out of the... Oh, move. Oh, no. I've accidentally pressed the slide tackle button. Didn't mean to. The ref did say play on, so I'll take that. Pass it through. Watkins. Watkins. Score it. Hurry up. Ah, oh, He's just got there in time. As that's half time, Brighton are one nil up. All right, second half time. Let's get the ball off of them as quickly as possible. Good, good stuff. Oh, what a touch. What a touch, through, through. Come on, Watkins, come on, Watkins, come on, Watkins. Oh, it's come off still. We really needed that goal. We do have a corner though. Let's kick it in. Come on, get ahead to it. Come on, Stones, boot it. Ah, it's ricocheted off of someone. Oh, they're on the run here. They're on the run here. Ah, oh, no. Oh, lucky. Lucky stuff. No, no. Oh, who was on him? Surely there would have been someone on him. There was. He ran the opposite direction. It's good. Slide tackle. Pass it off. Through ball. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Pass it to Salah. Back through, quickly. Mount, mount. Ah, oh, pass it off. Oh, we're going to lose this match. Hopefully they don't score another one here. Surely they won't. Oh, and they will. What? I've just jinxed it. Oh, I shouldn't have said anything. How are Brighton going to win 3-0 against Ipswich? Oh, no. Ah, uh, Brighton are going to win 3-0 here as the whistle is blown. That is a poor way to start the season for Ipswich. Right, that was a disappointing way to end the uh, game as we'll head to training. We need to get our players back up into peak condition as we'll advance the week heading into the next game against Leicester City. Before we head into the game, let's have a look at our lineup. Everyone is in top form and in top uh, health as well, so that's good. So that means we can now head into the second match. Here we go, it's our first home game of the season. Let's get our first win. Hopefully we can uh, give something back to our fans, especially after last week's performance. But anyway, let's get into the attacking highlights. Right, our first is a corner kick. It's in the 25th minute, Salah has taken it. Hopefully we can take advantage of this. Kick it in, come on Salah. Come on, get it to a mount. Oh, no. Couldn't get it in time. We'll get a header back, though. Kick it through. Oh, Watkins has got it. Oh, he's still got it. He's still got it. Pass it back out. Oh, no. No, no, he's still got it. He's been tripped. Ref. Oh, he didn't count it. But anyway, we've got another run here. It's 27th minute. We'll chip it over. Come on, score it. Oh, what a volley from Watkins. As that is Watkins' first goal for the season and for Ipswich Town. As we've got another attacking play, it's a solo run just before half time. It looks like Salah's got the ball. So let's see what he can do as he's running. Come on Salah, let's make it 2-0. 
Let's, let's go. That's what a goal from Salah. We are 2-0 up against Leicester. Pass it through. Oh, we've made some space. And it's a goal. That's the second goal for Watkins. Let's go. It's 3-0 up in the 51st minute. As Watkins is on for a hat-trick here, hopefully. As we've got another play here. It is in the last minute of the match. It's another cross ball. As, wow, what a ball that is. A score at Watkins. Oh, he shanked it over the bar. But there we have it. Ipswich has won 3-1 to Leicester City. Looks like we are 12th so far, so not too bad in the mid-pack after two rounds. So it looks like our next game is Calibre Cup against West Brom, as it looks like it is a away game. Looks like some of our players heading into match day today are feeling a little bit of the wear. I might actually take out Doku for this one, as we're only versing uh, West Brom. Broadhead will come in. Uh, with that, I might take Party out for this game, give him a little bit of rest, put Travis in there. Other than that, we'll just leave the squad as it is. Alrighty, first round of the Culliba Cup. Let's get into the attacking highlights. As wow, what a ball that is. As oh, we couldn't get the touch in on time. As we've been tripped, kick it back out. It's boot it. Oh, that surely wasn't far off from being in. As what a strike that was from Salah. Pass it through. Good ball. Good ball. Watkins, you got some space. Hey, he's been tripped. As that is the end of the match. And what? End of the match already? West Brom has won. We've been knocked out of the Culliver Cup already in the round one. That is disappointing. I thought we would have won easily against them. Maybe I should have played the full match instead of uh, just doing the attacking highlights. Wow, what a disappointing match that was. We are already kicked out of the Culliver Cup. Not great signs at all. I've changed everyone's training plan, so now we can keep advancing as the next game it looks like it is against Chelsea, so that is a big matchup. We are heading into another match day. Uh, before that, let's have a look at the pre-match report. Looks like Chelsea are having a 4-2-3-1 wide position. They have some good players. Looks like they've got Sterling. For some reason, they don't have uh, Palmer in there. Don't know where he is. Maybe he got transferred to another club. Hopefully, that means it will be an easier win for us today. As Let's head into kickoff for another game day. Alrighty, it is a away day for us. We are here at Stamford Bridge. Let's see what we can do against Chelsea. Right, I am doing attacking highlights. I probably shouldn't do attacking highlights after the last match, but hey, we need to get through these games as quickly as possible. As let's pass it out wide, as Broadhead has got it. As let's pass it through. Oh, what a ball. What a ball. As he stepped around, what a shot, but it was straight to Sanchez. We've got another chance here. It is still even at the moment, 26th minute. As the ball's coming in, as Travis has got it, and he's lost the ball straight away. Ah, good stuff from me. As we've got another chance here, another crossing opportunity. As let's cross it in. Header it in. Oh, what? Huh? It just stopped. I swear that was going in. Anyway, it does matter, I guess. As we've got another opportunity, a little chip in. As bang it in. Oh, what a goal. Another volley. And that was Gibbs White this time, as that is his first goal for the season. As let's chip the ball over. Chip it over again. Oh, what a ball, as Broadhead's got the ball. Hopefully he can get a goal here. As let's score it. And it's another one. 2-0. We are 2-0 up against Chelsea. Oh my God. I didn't think we were going to win this match as there is still time to lose the match, but hey, we are 2-0 up. As Chelsea did get a goal in the end, but we did win it 2-1 as let's go. What a match that was for Ipswich. Right, so it looks like we've got a chat from Doku again. He says, I was disappointed you left me out, boss. I know you're in charge, but I felt 100% ready to play. Oh, I forgot to change him. Oh, I forgot to change him back in. Doesn't matter. We'll put him in for the next game. You know what? I'll do it right now in front of you guys. I'll swap him out for Broadhead, and I'll put Doku back in, and I'll put Party back in for Travis as well. There we go. That should be a bit better. 
Right, everyone's training plan strategies have been changed, so hopefully they'll be all in top form heading into the next match, as the next match looks like it's going to be West Ham. But before that, looks like we've got a transfer offer for uh, Wolfenden. Let's see who wants to take him. Leicester do. They want him for 3.9. You know what? Yeah, let's take it. Let's get some money in. Keep simming, keep simming. As it looks like it is deadline day, I'm going to skip it as we don't need anyone so far. Let's look at where we are on the ladder. We are eighth so far. So we are slowly moving up the ladder. We have two wins so far, one loss, heading into our fourth match of the season. Let's get into the attacking highlights as it looks like we've got a solo run here, 25th minute of the game. So let's see what we can do as Doku's got the ball. Let's go score it. As he's got it, top corners, as I think that's the first goal for Doku this season. As it looks like we've got a penalty now, 43rd minute, as let's hopefully get this in for Watkins. Let's get him his second goal here. Let's get it there. As, oh, oh, he saved it. What a save. Wow, I thought we would have gotten that in as West Ham had one goal up on us. They're 2-1 so far as we need to get this next goal in. As we've stepped around him, as let's get this in, as we got it in, as Watkins has got his second goal for the season. As what a goal. Let's go. As that's the end of the match, 2-2, meaning we've got our first draw of the season. Well, we were lucky to get a draw there. As we look at the standings, we have moved into the top four position as we are on seven points, as we are actually equaling with Spurs, Fulham and that. Arsenal isn't far behind. And West Ham, the team that we've just drawn in the last game, they're in first. Wow, I can't believe that. I know it's still early on in the season. Anything can happen. But yeah, West Ham in first and Man City, they're down in seventh so far. Wow, okay. Interesting, as this season is looking fairly different. As anyway, we are probably going to do one more game for this video, but before that, I'm going to head into training plan. So everyone is fine heading into the final match of the video. As who are we versing? We are versing Fulham. They are in the top four as well. But before that, it looks like we've got a uh, inbox for some players that will be leaving for international duty. As there is what one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine of our players going on to international duties from the 7th of September to the 13th of September. I don't think there's any games between then. I'm pretty sure there's not. As I'll have a look at the calendar. Between the 7th and the 13th, yeah, there's no games. There's like a week off or even two weeks off there in the Premier League. All right, here we go. We've got a attacking play here. Looks like Watkins has got it. So let's see what we can do. Run forward. Let's go. Boot it. Ace, what a goal. Bottom corners. Let's go. 1-0 up. I reckon this is going to be an easy winning match for us. This is going to Doku. It is open. This should be an easy goal. As yes. Come on. Another one. Second goal for Doku. As that is simple. As this is going to be an easy three-point win for us, hopefully. But anyway, it looks like Fulham got another goal in the end. But we still won 2-1 in the end as we do take the three points here against Fulham. What a way to end this video. But other than that, hopefully you liked this video. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe down below. But other than that, I'll catch you guys in another video very, very soon.